Hey everybody, welcome back to the damn bar for another Big B beer review. All right, today we have another one from Prairie Artisan Ales. We have Vape Tricks. Yeah, interesting name. Obviously the, the can art is reflective of the name with a bunch of like clouds of smoke being puffed out Vape Tricks, you know, so. Vape Tricks is a sour ale aged on cherries. Uh, I brewed in can by Kreds Brewing Company, McAllister, Oklahoma. Oh. So I guess the tap room I got is in Oklahoma City, and I guess the brewery is in McAllister. Let me note that down. All right, so 5.9% ABV. Nice. Vape Tricks. Hopefully it's still good. It's a little aged. Yeah, it's it's aged quite a bit. Uh, the sours can, they kind of hold up a little bit to age. This is uh, going on nine months. Nine months old. Well, we'll see. So, Prairie Rose and Ales Vape Tricks. All right, just online. Vape Tricks was our first year-round sour ale. We've been sipping on this beauty for years, and it still hasn't gotten old. The perfect pairing for this beer is a ribeye with a chili crust. Whoa, that sounds good. A little bit of spice and a little bit of fat makes the cherry tartness really sing. We also recommend you listen to some bluegrass music while sipping on it. It's glorious. Yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating indeed. So yeah, their tap room is in Oklahoma City, and the brewery is in McAll McAllister. McAllister, not really. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, let's get into it. Hopefully, it's still good. I don't see why it would be. Now it has that distinctive sour smell that, like most sour ales, would smell like, and it has that smell. That yeasty, tarty smell, you know what I mean? Oh, I love it. Okay, definitely looks like it's still carbonated and whatnot. And I'm not expecting the, you know, the head to stay around for long. Sour ales usually dissipate very rapidly. So, a nice, beautiful pinkish, amber reddish sort of color going on there. It had one fat finger, and as you see, the head is dissipating rather fast. It's pretty hazy. It's not a very, uh, it's not a very clear beer. It looks like it's got a pretty wet looking, spongy looking head. Half spongy, half creamy looking almost. Interesting color there, huh? What would you say that is, like a grapefruit ruby red? Hmm. Definitely not a clear beer, obviously. So color-wise, in the darkness of it, I'm going to say this is closer to about maybe a 13 or so. Maybe even a 15 on the SRM. That's what I'm going to guess. Shits and giggles. All right. Not a bad looking sour. So... Okay, I can kind of smell some cherries. Yeasty, that, sour, that, that typical sour smell. Definitely smelling the cherries, I am. All right, let's dive in. Salut. <laughs> yeah. Bazinga. Nice and tart. Really tart. This is a home run for me. Oh. Listen, if you've watched my channel, then you know. If you haven't, I love sour stuff. I eat limes and lemons and drink lemon juice, lime juice, just because I like it, you know? So I love sour beers. I love the tartness. A lot of people, that's not your thing. If you don't like the tart and you don't like sour, this beer would not be for you. 
If you do like tart and you do like sour, try this one. This is pretty, this is damn good. I'm tasting the cherries. I'm getting the tartness. It's nice and crisp. Mm. Light in the body. You know, light to medium, but more light. It's on the lighter side. A nice crisp tart punch. And for being nine months old, it held up pretty well, I think. I can only imagine how much better it would be if it was fresh. So, not too, not too shabby at all. I'm trying not to really want to slug this down because I know that the camera lady behind the camera there is definitely going to want to try some of this. Not bad at all. And, like they said, baby, with that, oh my god, a ribeye. Ever since I read that, I can see that totally. A ribeye with a chili crusted, a chili crust. I don't know what that is. I've never had that, but it just sounds really, really good. So I'm going to say that would be a good pairing. I think they might have nailed that because I can totally see a nice, good, juicy ribeye right now. Oh, oh. I'm starting to salivate. All right. <clears throat> Online, Beer Advocate gives it, out of 241 reviews, it gets an average in the 1 through 5 scale of a 3.78, which on their 1, 1 through 100 is 85. Untapped with over 43.9 thousand reviews, 3.74. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good for Untapped. That's over that 0.5 mark. If you all know me and how you know, basically everything on Untapped is in the three range. I've said it many times. 3.5 and below is usually when it starts being not good. 3.5 and above is good. 3.5 is like the average because there's just it seems like that's the average for everything. So that's why anything above 3.5 is always good. Um, me, would I buy this one again? Let's see, I paid about $3.80 for this can, 12 ounce can. So, that being said, I would drink it again because it's so damn good. I would like to try it fresh, and yes, I would. I would probably buy it again because that's, it's just worth it. It's not something I would buy all the time. Not something that I would probably keep stocked in my fridge or something, you know, like I do with my Yinglings and stuff. So, yeah, yeah, um... I would definitely buy it again. I do like it. I think I'm going to remember this one. It's going to ring the memory bells. Kind of like the other Prairie uh, beer, which I think I might even have the can up there hidden somewhere. I know I do because it was so damn good. I'll find it one day. But, yeah, it's good. Um, so, Big B Beer Review, great. It's obvious A+. Plus. Forgot to, almost forgot to get to that. Obvious A+. Plus. So, give it a shot, you know. If you all can find it, let me know. Um... Let me know in the comments below what you guys think if you have had it. And also, I got a question for you guys if you're watching. When I go through these whole things, uh, including the, uh, you know, the, the ratings, Beer Advocate has that double scale where they have the 1 through 100 and then they have a 1 through 5 similar to Untapped. If you think it's just a waste of time, let me know what you guys think. Hope you all enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. If so, please make sure you hit that like button, please, and subscribe. And check out my group, Beer Reviewers United Brew, on Facebook. A bunch of awesome reviewers leaving great reviews there as well. And I'll catch you here at the damn bar for the next one. Till next time, salute.